We are not as intelligently advanced as we think. The space telescope we have built has captured astonishing images of space. It turns out it is so powerful that it could have changed our understanding of the universe. Before the Big Bang, the universe experienced an impressive cosmic expansion at least 80 times in a fraction of a second, resulting in tremendous inflation. This expansion turned the cosmos into a sterile and cold place, stopping its growth and transforming vacuum energy into matter and radiation, marking the beginning of the Big Bang era. During this period of intense heat and density, the elementary blocks that would eventually fuse into the galaxies and stars we observe today were formed. The James Webb Space Telescope has explored the distant past of the universe, revealing an unexpected discovery that challenges our understanding of the cosmos. What was there before the Big Bang? This finding has surprised the scientific community and raises fundamental questions about the nature of the universe. Before the Big Bang, the universe did not exist and was created in an event that occurred approximately 13.82 billion years ago. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, is just one of about two trillion galaxies that formed from the remnants of the Big Bang, essentially islands of stars in the vast cosmos. Despite initial resistance from some scientists, the evidence of this sudden creation is hard to ignore, as evidenced by galaxies scattering away like cosmic bullets and the afterglow of the Big Bang still detectable in the form of microwave radiation known as the cosmic background. In 1965, the anatomy was put forward that the Big Bang did not take place at a specific point, but that the universe emerged and expanded simultaneously in all directions. This event did not occur in a pre-existent vacuum, as the fabric of space-time manifested itself with the expansion of the universe. A common comparison of the universe is to imagine it as an expanding cake, where the raisins represent galaxies moving away from each other with no central point of origin. However, unlike a pie with a finite boundary, the theoretical eternal universe has no discernible boundary. During the inflation period, the vacuum contained energy that increased proportionally to its volume, like a stack of bills that doubles or triples in value with each doubling or tripling. This inflationary energy dissipated randomly, leading to the creation of matter and the heat characteristic of the Big Bang. This inflammatory vacuum, which was essentially infinite, gave rise to our Big Bang universe as one of an infinite number of bubble universes. This process began with a small amount of inflammatory vacuum, and quantum theory suggests that phenomena like these can arise seemingly out of nowhere. However, the Big Bang theory still presents limitations and challenges. Although it is reasonable to claim that the universe began in an extremely hot and dense state and has been expanding and cooling ever since, uncertainties remain about how this fits with various observations and how exactly it originated. Cosmologists have had to make adjustments to the initial Big Bang theory, however. According to this theory, the expansion of galaxies is due solely to the gravitational attraction of matter. However, if this were the only process at play, the time needed for galaxies to form would be considerably longer than the estimated 13.82 billion years. To address this discrepancy, astronomers have proposed the existence of invisible dark matter, which supposedly accumulates up to six times more mass than visible stars in galaxies, thus increasing the speed at which galaxies develop due to gravity. Although the fundamental theory of the Big Bang suggests that the expansion of the universe should gradually slow down due to the gravitational attraction of galaxies, in 1998, astronomers discovered evidence that this expansion is accelerating. It is speculated that this acceleration could be caused by the presence of dark matter, 
an imperceptible form of energy that fills space and exerts a repulsive gravitational pull. Furthermore, the reason why the universe maintains a constant temperature requires further adjustments to the fundamental Big Bang hypothesis. Astronomers suggest that the universe may have started out smaller than we anticipated, then undergoing an extremely rapid initial expansion in its first fraction of a second, known as inflation, caused by an inflationary vacuum, a highly energetic form of vacuum that was already present in space. Considering the possibility that the Big Bang was not the first event to occur, the James Webb Space Telescope has captured a stunning image of that small corner of the universe, revealing previously unknown information. The purpose of the telescope is to detect the light emitted by the first stars in galaxies, in the hope of obtaining more details about the earliest moments of the universe. This breakthrough occurred on Christmas Day 2021. The main objective of the James Webb Telescope is to detect the light emitted just after the Big Bang, when stars and galaxies began to form. This powerful telescope, which has been in development for 25 years, is considered the successor to Hubble, with a capacity 10 billion times more powerful. Since its launch, it has captured stunning images of galaxies that formed just a few hundred billion years after the Big Bang as well as the moment before the birth of a star. In addition, the James Webb Telescope has managed to capture the first direct image of an extrasolar planet and has been used to photograph the Tarantula Nebula, a region rich in young stars that until now were not visible to the human eye. It has also revealed new hidden structures and fine details of huge gas clouds, such as the Pillars of Creation. Recently, an image of NGC 346 has been published, part of the Small Magellanic Cloud SMC, a dwarf galaxy located 200,000 light years from Earth. This galaxy, already known as a stellar nursery, NGC 346 offers a unique insight into conditions during cosmic noon, a time when stars were forming faster due to stardust. Although star-forming regions were thought to be free of dust, scans of NGC 346 show the opposite, the presence of massive clouds of dust that accelerate star creation. According to Margaret Meixner, lead scientist on the study of NGC 346, is the only major cluster in its galaxy that is actively generating stars today. This provides a unique opportunity to investigate cosmic noon conditions. The abundance of dust in NGC 346 supports the hypothesis that galaxies during cosmic noon were also covered in dust, providing a closed window into the early universe. Furthermore, it is suggested that NGC 346 could be generating planets in addition to stars from swirling swirls of metallic dust. This discovery implies that Earth-like planets could have formed much earlier in the history of the universe than previously believed by astronomers. The new image captured by the James Webb Telescope is certainly a marvel considering that the machine has only been in orbit for a little over a year and has already managed to meet all the expectations of its designers and planners regardless of the complexity of the chemistry and stellar physics involved. This stunning image adds to a growing collection of stunning panoramas beamed back Earth by the James Webb Space Telescope. In addition, this instrument has allowed scientists to study the infancy of the cosmos, making a surprising discovery about the existence of six enormous galaxies that existed between 500 and 7 million years after the Big Bang radically changing our understanding of galaxy formation. The James Webb Telescope uses infrared light to examine the universe, as this wavelength is undetectable to the human eye and allows us to capture the faint light emitted by ancient stars and galaxies. With this capability, the observatory can literally go back in time to 13.5 billion years ago, 
challenging our preconceived ideas about the early formation of the universe. Scientists need to reconsider how galaxies formed and evolved, as the data collected shows that these galaxies are much larger than expected based on current models. This challenges the prevailing idea that galaxies begin as small clouds of stars and dust that evolved over time. Although it is thought that the galaxies observed by the James Webb Telescope data could be somewhat later, it is crucial to keep an open mind about what we are observing, as this is our first look at such far distances. While the data suggests that they are probably galaxies, there is a possibility that some of these objects are hidden supermassive black holes. In any case, the discovery of a much larger amount of mass than expected indicates a significant change in our understanding of the universe, even if we reduce the sample size. There are several reasons why astronomers could have been wrong in their estimates, such as more efficient methods of star formation than previously believed. This could have tricked the James Webb Telescope into interpreting the stars in these galaxies as older than they actually are. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe for more.